Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Unity Flow. It's been a while since we've been uh, able to get to our Unified Flow podcast. We've been focusing on the relationship flow, being that we've had a quarantine and lockdown experience here in Jerusalem and the rest of the world. And thankfully, we are on our way out, especially in Israel. It's been, thankfully, a much smoother process of healing and less casualties and an ability right now as I see around me I'm on the rooftop of Jerusalem and looking around it's really busy streets the trams are full again and then we have the light railway right in front of me pulling up the second and it's amazing like how quickly everything was converted into functionality so we spoke about a little bit last week about the unified real recovery project we'd like to invite you all to join it's on the previous podcast i please 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 recommend you listen and share it on to people in the therapeutic and recovery world and that could be you even if you're not in that world officially or signed up as a registered or professional psychologist or therapist or psychotherapist or what all the different um, aspects that are out there even if you're just an individual who cares about someone who's having a challenge or you yourself are going through some sort of addiction or something please look into that podcast and uh, blog that we posted below and uh, it will be something that will make a difference to our process of recovery not just with corona virus challenge but everything we're going through in life nowadays in 2020 um, today we're going to talk a bit about a new project and it's quite exciting that we're managing to get so many projects done during the coronavirus challenge you know we obviously got the online classes and the Amuna is our future podcast growing we're going to have a great class coming here tomorrow on the, I'm actually right next to the studio now and it will be very uplifting all about how we can prepare for Shavuot and that actually ties in a little bit with the project because we are looking for now for advertising space and content for Shavuot. It's only another week and a half away in terms of the magazine going out and everything getting you know, edited and put out there. So you guys, whoever's out there who has content or wants to advertise your company, that is my new project. I'm assisting Ami Magazine. I have been involved a little bit with other magazines like Mishpacha and other things. Um, but the AMI magazine, thankfully, over the years has been the main um, opportunity for me to showcase this in black on the front cover and centerpiece. And then we also had Rav Shalom Arush with our Muna tours. We had many years of advertising there, all the different locales and flyers, and of course, the interview of both Rav Nissen, uh, so Rav Nissen Black and Rav Shalom Arush. And all the other people I work with, I'd love to feature over the over the years, I did give some tips about Alex Clare, who recently featured, and um, there are some other people who I've recommended and hopefully will feature in the coming months. But the main point is I have great uh, discount right now from what standard pricing to now reduced pricing that I can offer with my Unity bookings, and it's an opportunity for everybody to take a look at the notes below. We'll put in the uh, pod, uh, podcast, the blog post, and if anyone wants to reach out, they just email me and I'll send the the uh, updated discounted pricing that you can get direct from me. Um, what's good about it for me personally, it's not just you know showing that you know there's thankfully good opportunities for good content and now that Abbey Magazine itself has is, is, uh, continued its distribution back in Israel, and it's not being held back by the coronavirus challenge. But me personally, I'm not being ha- held back. I want to go ahead, even if it's uh, you know, all, all different ideas, different projects, and hopefully we'll consolidate and focus to make, you know, more successful because you can't just do a hundred things. You've got to tune into what really works and make that the success. And that's part of the journey that we're going on. We had posted to some great tips from Lewis House of work from home. But thankfully, I'm back in the office and I appreciate, you know, everyone out there sharing and being part of the journey together. And thankfully, we had a lot of good good energy during this, this few months and I really feel it's climaxing with this Shavuot, with the uh, time to receive a new spiritual renewal of energy and Kabbalah Satoira, a new revelation of who we are, what our purpose is, what our inner content of who we are as a, as a soul in this world and how we connect into the godly light that exists through the Torah Kadosh, our holy Torah and all the different um, guidance from all the different righteous people, the generations all the way through to now. And it, I feel that there's no reason why I can't unify with everything else that's going on and all the challenges and all the personal stuff that should penetrate deeply into our everyday life. 
and that is the right now the sphere of Yisod. It should go all the way down from the highest places into the lowest. That's the Yud Sof, as Rav Sodik says. The Yud of Chochmah, of wisdom, should penetrate all the way down the Sof into this world, into the lowest levels of, of emotional struggle and pain that we all go through on some level at some point. And I pray that you know everyone should find that inner strength that was demonstrated by the great people that passed away in Shavuot. Another week and a half, we've got uh, David Melech and the Ba'a Shem Tov HaKadosh, and their great souls can l- give us the ability to understand that everything can be turned around and transformed, that everybody has hope, everyone has the ability to unify and become part of the ultimate unification. That was the Ba'a Shem Tov's message of Mashiach, of the Messiah, and that we unify everything that seems so disparate in the world, we bring that unification and bring us all closer to that true path of um, unity that we're so inspired about here. And that's all comes together with just putting out good content, being part, even, you know, we have to do a little bit every day, keeping positive and going ahead. And I'm looking forward to hear your unity flow. Have a good Yom Tov and Kabbal receive all the, the divine gifts that's out there in a, in a real way. And I'm looking forward to hear from everyone their unification.